Hi, today I'm going to talk a little bit about uh, what we call um, web components. So it's our way of allowing you to have almost any kind of visual component that's not uh, normally available in Bravo, um, powered by just using straightforward um, HTML. So let me just show you how it what it looks like. Um, so here on the right is my mobile phone. Um, and I just show you quickly what that, how this app works. It's of three screens. Um, we've got one with a radar diagram, one with a donut. So it's a very simple app. So if you notice here, we've got the, the main app, it's all in Bravo. We've just got this little box here, which is actually, uh, if I open up, is a, is a web view. Um, uh, and inside that is, uh, let me just open it up. So here's just a web view. Okay, so we've just got two web views here. Um, so that's the app. And if you look on the right, this looks like this. We've got uh, data coming in from Airtable, and this is going to be a, a picture, a name, and some stats which are coming just from Airtable. But you see that the box has been transformed into a chart, a radar chart, using uh, Chart.js. And I can slide through, and it loads looking like a native component using something that we don't have in Bravo. So let me show you how that works. Oh, I just mentioned that we, and we're using Toddle to power this, so I've left the logo on because it's, Toddle's a great tool for this sort of thing. Okay. So the way it works is as follows. We have the app screen in Bravo, which is all of the main parts, and we just have that one box as a, uh, as a, as a chart. Um, and what's actually going on here is normally with Bravo, you have the Bravo calling the back end, which gets the database, returns the data back, which goes back to the app. Now, in what we're doing here is we're adding a bit of extra st steps in. So the first few steps are the same, but what the back end is doing is it's transforming some of the data and adding it and creating it as a URL. Um, so the data uh, and the actual uh, and the, and the URL is being created in the back end, and that's passed to Bravo, that's bound to the web view with the data, and that's then sent to uh, the URL with the web component in. The web component then will display that data um, as an HTML response, and it could optionally actually update the back end as well. So you can actually use this as, a, as an interactable co component. Imagine a calendar uh, choosing a date um, or whatever you want it to do. That could be fed to the back end, so you can actually make this almost a seamless part, but allowing you to create almost anything using HTML. And the great thing then is you're not having to do it both for iOS and Android. You can just make some snippets of HTML um, and then do whatever you need it to do. Um, we use Toddle for this. Toddle's really good because it automatically hosts your HTML. You don't have to worry about putting it anywhere. Uh, and it's very easy to create things, like components like this. Um, uh, you know, not only there's a radar chart, just to show you also on the mobile side, you can also create, you know, any kind of chart. There's a donut chart there. It's a really powerful tool and it looks and works almost as if it was fully native with the rest of it. So really the complexity, I would say, is in setting up your bit of a snippet of HTML and hosting it um, and also adding it to the back end. I'll just show you what we're doing here with, in BuildChip from the back end side. Um, so this is BuildChip and we just take your normal endpoint. Uh, so imagine this is us. So Bravo is hitting this endpoint. It's getting all the data from Airtable. Uh, just like you normally would, they've got a special node for this in build chip. And then the real clever part, I guess, is this bit here. And what we're doing in this code here, I'll just show you as an example, is to set up the, the config for the chart.js chart um, and add that data to a URL, which is in total, which is hosting the chart.js and adding the data to that. So the whole URL has the, the, the actual site and also the data that's going to be displayed and then we return that back to Bravo. And so we can bind that URL to the web view to just be displayed. So really this is all you need to do to get a web component working um, in Bravo. Um, we do actually offer uh, some professional services where we can actually help do this for you. Um, and I'm gonna build a, do a tutorial to go through this in more detail, but I wanna show you what's possible because with this, you can almost answer any of those at last 10% of the things you wanna do that hasn't always been possible in Bravo. Well, now you can. So either we can help you or we can, you could get to the wait for the tutorial and see how to do this yourself. Hope that's helpful. Um, you know, let us know if you, what you'd like to see us do more of in the future. Thanks very much.